Welcome. Really wanted to share with you one of my favorite postures, and it's called Wild Thing. So we'll begin in downward facing dog for this. Hands rooted deep, so you really want to spread your fingers wide. And in this variation, we'll start with the big toes touching. So I called it a zipped up dog, yeah? So with the legs together, big toes touching. I'll bring the right leg up to the sky, slowly coming up, feeling the power of that left leg, the grounded leg. Extend through that ankle. And without opening my hip, I'm going to bend my right knee, push the ball of the foot forward toward the top of the mat. So it's not open yet. The hips are still squared. What this does is it gets strength through my pelvis. It helps me find the ground through that left leg. It wakes up my right hamstring, which I'm going to use. So a deep breath here. And then inhale, come forward into plank, but you're going to keep your shoulders back, so you're not going all the way over the wrists yet. Back slightly. You'll spin on the outer edge of that left foot, really root it down deeply, then the ball of the right foot down. Here, push through that left leg. You can even look at it for a moment. Light up that whole left leg, your shoulders back just a little bit from that left wrist. Here, right hand on the heart, open the heart, and at the same time, lift that right hip. So you can see the opening in the quadricep, the opening in the hip flexor. Then push the heart into the hand, and that's where you curl open. From here, if you want to extend the arm, keep it near the ear as you reach it back. To come out of it, slowly, right hand looks for the earth, and that will pull that knee up, and you can go right back to downward facing dog. Lowering that right foot down. So I really hope that you can explore this, really moving in and out with integrity. You'll feel the awakening in the whole side body. So thank you for joining me in this exploration of Parjvavazi Stasana. Have a beautiful practice.